Hey guys, Jesse here from Urban Legends Antiques. We found Savers <laughs> in Murrieta, so we're gonna go in and check it out. We have something to donate. Uh, we have <laughs> some old Christmas, well not old, but we didn't use these Christmas lights, so we're gonna donate these for our 20% off coupon. All right, so let's get started. I have not been to a Savers before, and this one is really big. I think it's ironic that the big box stores are closing down, and in their place are the big thrift stores. This cold, drizzly morning, sun just came out. It's beautiful. Let's go check out Savers. I found this basket. I thought it was really cute and I'm planning on putting it in my shop to display towels in. More baskets. I'm looking through baskets right now because I'm trying to find some for our new house. Random club kid shoe. When I found this shoe, let me tell you, I knew this store was for me because I used to wear those types of shoes when I would go dancing when I was in my 20s. You are gonna catch me in one of those shoes now, but back in the day, <laughs> oh man, I love that kind of a look. Big, beautiful armoire with a bunch of Bible scripture written on it. I thought it was really pretty. I like the size of it. Um, when I was looking at it, the back, um, it has an opening for the old style TVs and we would just have to cover it back up. But then right next to it, I got completely distracted by this little sofa table. This was really cool. I like the look of it. I like the cane weave. We've been hunting one of these down for a while. Um, there was just some damage to it and I didn't want to fix it. <laughs> I'm trying to be pickier about what I pick because everything we get, we have to repair. So um, we still have a lot of repair projects that we need to get through, but I did find this cool little table. I like to have these tables on standby in my booth in case a piece of furniture sells and then I still have something to display with. And the best part is once I put another piece of furniture in that place, it folds down quickly for storage and it doesn't take up a lot of space. I always check out the greenery in the thrift stores to see if there's anything that I want. I like the four canisters that you see here. They remind me of something my mom had back in the 80s. And then I really like to decorate in the fall with cornucopias. Something about the horn of plenty and the harvest season and bringing everything in. I love to decorate like that. As always, I'm on the hunt for vessels to pour candles into. And these look like some handmade ceramic pieces. Um, sometimes when we pour the wax into the vessels they'll crack so i have to be careful about like the handmade ceramics because i don't know if it can tolerate the heat of a candle that's why you don't see me using them a lot but i love that kind of sketch drawing of anything with paris in it and i'm on the hunt for wood bowls because all of my wood bowl candles have sold out 4.99 even with the 20 percent discount is a little bit too expensive for a vessel but i did find these ones these are $3.99 each. Some of them were priced $3.49 each. So I scooped up as many of them as I could find. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They all went in my cart. As many of you know, my brother-in-law is a florist. So I'm always looking for vases and these type of floral boxes for him. But $12.99 was way too much. You can get them cheaper at a wholesaler. On to more vessel hunting. I like pedestal uh, glasses to pour candles into. I just think it's really pretty and it kind of elevates it, quote unquote. And then these, I regret leaving these behind. I thought those uh, cups were really, really cool. They're giving like luxurious Ralph Lauren polo vibes and I should not have left them. I did leave the Red Lobster cup behind though. <laughs> Cause you know, I'll be taking my man to Red Lobster. Here's something interesting that I may start stocking. The, this Southwestern style look. Let me know if you want me to start stocking this stuff because I saw a lot of that. Mm -hmm. 
lots of clocks. I love a good clock. I love a clock that has like a good tick to it, like the tick, tick, tick of the seconds that you can kind of hear in the background. I like that sound. To me, it's very comforting. And I found a really pretty clock. This one right here, it's giving like for me, I thought it was had like a Paris vibe to it, kind of romantic Valentine's-y. And then this one right here is just, it was really cool vintage. I stock a lot of like the home co vintage stuff, but I was only gonna do one and I decided to go with the Paris one. Here again is the Pueblo style. This is a chip and dip plate. I really, really like it. I'm fascinated with the colors. I never paid attention to this look back in the 80s, but now as an adult, I see it and I love it. There's quite a bit of it that was in this store. Obviously, I took this. This to me had a, a romantic Valentine's Day look, which, which is what I'm trying to put in the shop right now. And here again is more of the Southwestern. Look at this right here is a total 80s Southwestern style that was really popular back in the day. Here's more of that Southwestern print. It was just all over the, the savers. So this right here, this is more of that Pueblo style that I was talking about. This is the Taos line. Um, it's very vintage, it's very 80s. It has a boho look to it. The colors are very 80s. And I think my grandma had some of this. She had bought it at either Nordstrom or Robinson's May. You can see the chili peppers on top. It's really pretty. I never appreciated the look um, before, but now I love it. Okay, I did not get this, but I thought it was funny. Everything tastes better in a bacon bowl. Chuck would love this. Um, I don't know if microwave bacon is that good, but I just thought it was really funny. I love this pot, but not for $13.49, so that was a pass. Um, tortilla warmers, it's always a good one. We don't use them, we just wrap our tortillas in a paper towel, but maybe someday I'll start doing that. Um, this vintage cutting board I loved, it's going in. And then we ended up in the Christmas aisle. I love the vintage Christmas lights and I'm just fascinated by the glow that they give. I thought that was really pretty. And then this looked like a planter, maybe to put like a little Christmas tree in. It was chipped though, so I left it. I did grab this. I thought this was really pretty. It's good Christmas colors. It's from Sir La Tab. You could either put salt in it if you want. You could put trinkets, candy, whatever you wanted. And then when I was in the book aisle, I saw this. This right here looks like someone's graduated from nursing school and donated all of their nursing books. I like to stock vintage and antique books in my shop. So I found a couple here that I thought, I like the back of them, I like the gold coloring on the um, spine of the books. This one right here I thought was really pretty. And then of course I immediately drop it. I was so embarrassed, I just put it back and walked away. And then we ended up in the toy aisle, Chuck and I did. Um, I was just looking around just to see what they had and then I saw this cool little castle. And I just, honestly, I wanted it for myself, but. <laughs> I'm a 44 year old woman buying myself a castle. <laughs> I mean, why not? I didn't buy it, but I did look at it and play with it for a little bit. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. That way you can see more of my thrift store videos. That's the end of this one. And here's a couple of the items that I purchased stocked in my booth. I'm Jessie from Urban Legends Antiques and thanks for coming along for the ride. Stay tuned for the springtime DIY mushroom decor collab coming in March.